This man claims to have made one of the most remarkable breakthroughs in modern science. If he is right, then he has found a revolutionary new way to create a form of energy that could transform our world. It's called nuclear fusion. It would mean that you could take water, refuel your car, that would ensure that 10 billion people over the next 10,000 years would not have to worry about producing energy. But others accuse him of bad science and say his work threatens to bring back the ghost of one of science's most notorious episodes. It has blown up into one of the biggest scientific controversies of recent years. So tonight, Horizon will try to sort out the matter once and for all. If you can't reproduce it, it's not science. Unless somebody else can reproduce those data, it'll just sort of wither away. We have assembled a team of experts to conduct a unique experiment to test out these claims. If the result is positive, then this man will be on the way to a Nobel Prize. And the dream of a shortcut to a world with unlimited cheap energy could finally be within reach. But if it fails, one of the great dreams of science will surely die. The small town of Oak Ridge in Tennessee has witnessed some remarkable scientific discoveries. The first atom bombs were developed here. And since then, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory has been home to some of the US government's most secret nuclear research projects. Now, one of its scientists, Rusi Taliakin, claims to have found something that could be an even bigger breakthrough for mankind. It's something that could potentially liberate millions of people trapped in poverty. Save us from global warming. and transform the entire global economy. If you raise the standard of living and have people be able to stand up and I guess be counted as human beings rather than be treated like dirt, the world would be a much better place for everybody. That would be the crowning glory of my life if I can, if I can make it happen. But the claimed breakthrough has been condemned by many fellow scientists, and Rusi Taliakin has faced a storm of criticism. We had to stand firm on what we believed to be right. We knew that whatever data was obtained was obtained under the best of circumstances, with the best of intentions, and with whatever resources we had. And we believed the data. What Rusi Taliakin claims to have found is one of science's holiest grails. Nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is nature's atomic power. At the core of stars like our sun, conditions are so hot and so extreme that atoms of hydrogen are forced together until they fuse. This natural nuclear reaction gives off massive amounts of heat, light and energy. And many scientists are convinced 
that fusion could provide cheap energy for mankind forever. Because here on Earth, exactly the right fuel needed for fusion is locked inside water, the stuff that covers most of our planet. So every river, every lake, every ocean is a potential source of energy. Enough for everyone on the entire planet for millions of years. And to cap it all, nuclear fusion is clean. So it would spell an end to global warming. And unlike conventional nuclear power, there would be no nuclear waste. Not surprisingly, realizing this dream has been a goal of scientists for decades. Fusion is one of the great quests of science. It's one of the great things that we would like to be able to do, like finding a cure for cancer. And we've known for 50, 60 years that there's this unbelievable amounts of energy that we could get if we could just figure out how to do it. The key to releasing that energy was heat. Temperatures in the core of the sun are an unimaginable 10 million degrees. And recreating those conditions here on Earth has been one of the most difficult scientific endeavors of all time. Nature does fusion. Nature does fusion in the center of the sun. But if you wanted to do it on Earth, you've got to recreate some kind of condition like the center of the sun. That's difficult. For over 30 years, and at a cost of billions, mammoth fusion machines were built to try and achieve this goal. But the experiments always used up more energy than they ever produced. Until in 1991, a team at this laboratory in Oxfordshire finally succeeded in producing enough energy to light up a few houses. But it lasted for just one second. A few years later, the same team were back at it. This time they produced enough energy to light up a small town for just four seconds. These bursts of energy were so short-lived that fusion scientists had to admit that the practical reality of a world with unlimited clean energy was still as far away as ever. But some scientists dreamt of an easier way to achieve nuclear fusion, a shortcut that would get mankind there quicker and cheaper. It was a dream that led to one of the most infamous scientific episodes of all time. On the 23rd of March, 1989, Professor Martin Fleischmann made the most extraordinary claim. That he and a colleague, Stanley Pons, had discovered a simple way of doing fusion that didn't seem to cost the Earth. It was called cold fusion. Well, the belief is that uh, in order to create fusion, we have to slam two atoms together. Bang, we have to slam them together. And that has been the background to the attempts to create hot fusion. And what we were saying is, no, 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 no. It may be that you can achieve fusion under much milder conditions. What they had done seemed truly revolutionary. They had taken a test tube of the fuel for fusion 